Hello everyone, I'm back. Uh, today I have a 2001 Dodge Dakota. This truck has a perfidy body drain. Something drains the battery overnight. Uh, I got my uh, amp clamp and when I put it over on this cable here we have a, a, point, a 0.4 amps of current which is way way too much. It's supposed to be like 10 times less than what supposed to be less than 50 milliamps and having a almost a half an amp. Now when I put the uh, amp clamp on this cable here we have a uh, 5 point almost uh, 0.6 amps so um, definitely we have a uh, draw on this it's coming from the this fuse box here uh, the first thing what I've done I did a uh, voltage drop across of all across all these fuses here didn't find anything unfortunately uh, I had to start pulling these fuses out because I couldn't check them I, I guess you can Pull this little window up, but it was it would take too long. So um, after I uh, traced everything, I got to this fuse here. This is a 40 amp fuse, and if I pull that fuse out, my draw will go away. Let's do that real quick. Is this so I hate these fuses? They're not easy to pull. There you go. And uh, let's just wait, see what happens here. There you go. And the draw and go to sleep. Let's see if I there's there you go. It's it's fluctuating around 100 milli, milliamps, which is still a little high, but uh, uh, let's just go ahead and uh, get this figured out. Uh, but this is the main draw. Uh, and uh, looking at the um, cover, it says a ignition, uh, 40 amp ignition 2. Unfortunately, on my volume diagram, I could not find this because the diagram doesn't tell me, it gives me the numbers, and uh, I'll show you that on the, on the diagram my diagram and you can see like there's a 50 amp 40 amp 30 amp so that's my fuse uh, under under the hood but it tells me like fuse 16 4 1 2 so I couldn't really pinpoint that particular fuse to see where it's giving power to and uh, then I'll, I'll show you my next step so I'm gonna put this fuse back in and uh, you can see immediately it goes to almost now with 0.7 amps as I was walking around the car, I noticed it that the uh, now <coughs> the digital clock on the radio is on, and then I uh, pulled the, the cover from the inside box fuse box, and I have found the fuse 18 is actually the one for the for the radio. So number 18 is this fuse here so it is going to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 so I'm going to pull this fuse out I'm not sure what this is all about I'm not sure what it goes to there's something after market so I'm going to pull the, that fuse out and you can see the radio is off now <clears throat> and this draw drops. Now I have my fuse is in place but you can see but once I disconnect that uh, fuse the, the draw goes significantly down and um, now the radio uh, so the first I thought okay well I got a shorted radio uh, which you know it's possible and then uh, I went to my wiring diagram and uh, uh, checked the diagram for the radio itself Uh, here's the uh, diagram for the radio and uh, you can see here's my uh, fuse number 18 that that's what I pulled and I didn't didn't realize there's actually two more fuses number nine and number one that gives the power to the uh, radio as well this is a dimer signal here but anyhow um, then I noticed this is a hot and run or accessory so this fuse 
should not have the power when the key is out. The ignition key is out. This should not have power. And uh, then I went back to the car again. So I'm going to put this fuse back in. Okay. And the radio is back on. So clearly this uh, fuse is having a power they should not have. You can see the key is out of ignition. And uh, just to confirm that, see the power and power, right? And then I went to the to the uh, diagram again. So this diagram I found that fuse 17, 18, and 19 are actually getting a power from the ignition switch. And uh, so let's go back to the car again. Okay, so it makes sense. I mean, it says ignition, of course, on the on the fuse box and on the cover. So now, when you're looking at this, uh, so again, my my uh, thought process is that the radio was shorted until I figure out that the circuit is alive. The the that should be only alive when a you know key is on, accessory or the engine running. So this ignition, you turn the key on. You start the car, you shut it off. I'm <coughs> sorry. And uh, if if you pull this key all the way back like so, and you can still take it out, the radio stays on. Okay. But if you just click it just this much, all right. Take the key out, the radio is out. So this ignition switch is faulty, and uh, you know keeps that circuit alive and. Uh, the radio is not going back to sleep. Maybe there's the fuse is 19, and what is the other one? 17, I guess. So all the uh, all those fuses are still alive. There. So still, I, I still have like 100 milliamps of current. So that might go away once I fix this uh, ignition switch. Once the other circuits go go to uh, turn turn itself off. So, and I'm gonna take turn, turn this. I mean, I'm sorry. I'm gonna change the ignition switch, and then we'll check it out again. Okay. So new cylinder lock is installed. Here's the old one. Now this one does not have any security or anything. Um, it's just the uh, you put new cinema lock in it. There's a tons of videos how to install this. It's pretty easy. So anyhow, I'm gonna turn it on. Get start. Shut it off. Take the key out. Radio's off. Radio on. Take a second for the radio. There you go. <clears throat> sometimes it shuts off immediately, sometimes it takes a minute. There you go. And uh, we can uh, check this fuse again. So this is the, the, if I can have anything alive. Okay, the key is on, fuse is alive, key is off. Fuse is off. Okay. Well, that was it. There you go. Points. Uh, so basically, 70 milliamps, 50 milliamps. Probably gonna go a little lower than than that, but it might take a minute. Uh, but that was a problem. And the three, 30 milliamps. Okay. All right. You see the radio is off. It's all good. I was. About to call in the bad radio, but luckily I look at the diagram and uh, again, I mean, it was, it was kind of, I don't know how I miss it. It says ignition, so the fuse, the 40 amp fuse under the, uh, in the fuse box under the hood, you would think it, you know, it should come from, from, from the ignition, but I just didn't think of it. And um, so anyhow, the, the, that's going to be the fix. For this time, I'm sorry I have not been active on my channel. I had some difficult times that I 
was going through and uh, but I'm slowly getting back on my feet I got a new shop I can show you that actually the, here's my new garage here it's much bigger than the one that I used to have and I got my puppies here this the big one is Clifford and this is Rex uh, Clifford's gonna be a year old next month and the little one's gonna be a year old next May and uh, they are old English sheep dogs and uh, they keep me company so I'm not you know by myself all day long so there you go they're very very sweet dogs and uh, we're in a garage I have 1983 Lincoln Continental that's my uh, project. I've got that car a month ago. It's going to be a big project, but I think it'll be fun once it's fixed. Um, it needs a few things, but nothing major. And uh, all right, guys. Well, uh, see you next time. Thank you. Bye bye.